Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some permanent anklets. Here is the gold over sterling set. First, I'm going to be showing you the diamond amethyst anklet. Here is the tools and materials list you will need. For the first step, you can go ahead and connect your charm and your birthstone connector to the end of your chain using one of those jump rings. Next, you can just go ahead and wrap that around your ankle and secure the end of your chain to the other end of your gemstone connector using another jump ring. And your anklet is all done. Next, I'm going to show you a birthier anklet. Here is the tools and materials list of everything you will need. Next, you're going to want to connect your first number connector to the end of your chain using one of those jump rings. You can use whatever numbers you would like if you're making this design. Next, you can go ahead and take that heart charm and connect that to the other end of that number connector you just connected to your chain. And then you can go ahead and connect your other number connector to the other side of your heart charm using one of those jump rings. Next, you can just wrap that around your ankle. Taking your last jump ring, just connect your number connector to the other end of your chain and you are all done with this anklet. Next I'm going to be showing you a gemstone zodiac anklet. Here is the tools and materials you will need. You can use any zodiac charm or any gemstone charm. First, you can go ahead and connect your gemstone connector and your zodiac charm to the end of your chain using one of those jump rings. And if you want the permanent design, you can just go to one of your local jewelry shops to get it soldered. They can just solder it for you after you make the bracelet, and it'll be an actual permanent bracelet instead of just using the jump ring. Next, you can go ahead and wrap that around your ankle and just connect the end of your chain to the other end of your connector using a jump ring and you are all done. Next, we have the sterling silver set. First, we have a teardrop gemstone initial anklet. Here is the tools and materials you will need. Once again, you can use any gemstone in any letter. Go ahead and take one of those jump rings and connect your gemstone charm to the end of your chain. And then you can go ahead and wrap that around your ankle, throw your letter charm on your jump ring, and then go ahead and connect the end of your chain to the teardrop charm. Next we have an infinite love anklet. Here is the tools and materials you will need for this anklet. First you can go ahead and connect your infinity connector and your heart charm to the end of your chain. Once again, if you do want this to be a permanent anklet, you can go ahead and head over to your local jewelry shop and they will solder it for you.
and then you can go ahead and wrap that around your ankle and secure that with a jump ring. Here is the gold over sterling set again, and here is the sterling silver set.